Hey all, welcome again. If you're watching this section, so you have completed the first challenge, congratulations. And we look at the second challenge, which is build an AI generated summary for the related records. So this challenge is mainly about understanding the summary of the information that has been provided by the customer over a period of time. So every time when a service has been rolled out, a fitness record has been created where the customer would be entering their interest. And the this Tranquil Trails marketing wants to understand the summary of what the customer interest is so that way they can do the marketing accordingly. So in order to do that, they wanted to create a field called interest summary so that way they can capture the overall interest of the audience at once and they wanted to look at at the contact object so let's go ahead and open the contact object to create that field and go to edit object and fields new and the, the field should be of type description And it's a rich text field. So let's use the same. So is there any rich text field? We have rich text area. So use that. It's just a field creation. So you should not have any trouble in terms of doing it. So next. I'm giving this access to everyone. I'm not concerned about the security as of now. So once then I'll just want this field to be on the all the contact page layout, so I'll click on save. So what we have done so far is we have created a field called interest summary, which is of type rich text. Next, we need to create a prompt template, which would summarize the client goals, which is nothing but the fitness goals that they have prioritized. So in order to do that, we have to go to the prompt builder again so it's a new prompt so i'll just go ahead and click on new and this time i'll just use a record summary because we want to this time i'll use it as a field generation because i just wanted to summarize the content that has been generated all right, so I'll just enter the name of the template that I've copied earlier. Put the same thing in the template description. In the object, I'll put it as contact because that is what our triggering point is. And object field, where we wanted to do this, we want to generate it in the interest summary field. So I'll click on next. So we are done with that step. So all we need to do is copy this content in here, the one that they have provided, which would help us tell the prompt what, it, what we need to do. Again, there are a couple of fields that we need to replace. One is the related list for the fitness. One is the contacts first name. Let's quickly do that. How we do it, we will look at the resources, go to contact. In order to get the list of related list records for the contact, so you would see an option called fitness. That is a related list that is available. All I would do is replace this wherever the content says related list of fitness. So I'll just paste it in here. And in, in here, so let's quickly replace it. So this one should go in here. And in here, and for the 
contacts first name. Let's go to contact and search for first name. And this is the merge field that you would get. Ideally speaking, you can just put your cursor wherever you want it and then do it. That is how it can be done too. So that is all we have the things that we need to replace in here. And on the right hand side, select the right model. So we have the OpenAI GPT-4 Turbo. And before we go ahead and say that we have built the right one, let's go ahead and test it with the record that we see in here. Or you can do it once you save the template too. Let's follow that so that way we can complete the challenge at once. Save activate and go to the contact record. So I'm just going to the contact tab or you can simply search once you're in the home page for this particular contact. Now if you see here, we do not have that input We do not have this input summary field in here. So we just need to add it over. So I'll just go ahead and say edit page. There are a couple of things that we need to notice in here. So let's quickly look at them. So first thing is we wanted to understand which page layout that we are on. So I'll just open the page layout. summary is added in here so that means we have that field in here so we can find out here which is good in order for this feature to actually work we need to switch to the dynamic form so i'll just say upgrade now click on next and select the page layer that i want to upgrade the page layout to dynamic forms i'll click on finish so what we are trying to do is we are converting the normal page layout into a dynamic form so once you do that, that is where you have the ability to tell the system which template you need to use for this particular field, which prompt template you need to use. If you remember, this is the template that we have built and activated, which is summarize client goals. So once done, you can click on save, activate if it is not activated for your work, and then click on close if it is already activated. Now let's quickly go back to our contact record do the same test to see if you see any difference. So now if you see here, rest all fields has a pencil icon, the standard edit icon. But for this one, you see a pencil icon with a plus. So what it means is it is something, an Einstein feature that invokes the template that we have asked the system to use. It will look at this two fitness record, summarize what the customer interest is, and it would provide that information in here. Now you would be able to understand why we have selected the field generation as an option in here for designing our template. So I'm happy with this one, click on use. That is what it takes to copy that content back to your field. And once you're happy, it is just a normal record save procedure to save that content. So that is how you can make use of your so that is how you can make use of your prompt template to fill in the field. And that brings us to the end of this 
challenge two, wherein we have completed the challenge that brings us to the end of the challenge two section. We have a couple of interesting videos under our membership. Feel free to check out the ones that are hot in the market. Thanks, stay tuned for challenge three.